What's up YouTube, John Wheels, and today we're going to be making the go-kart safer with seat belts, a kill switch, and covers for the brake and torque converter. Alright guys, so I just freshly got the garage all cleaned out. Um, but now what I'm doing is I'm trying to make this um, cover for the torque converter that came with it fit. And I don't really need this, but it will be cool to have it work. Um, but basically, um, let me find my marks. Um, the chain hits at um, two certain places, so what I'll do is I'll just cut... All right, so I got the cover put on the engine, the torque converter cover, and I'm going to put on the brake cover that came with it. I just spray painted it a gloss black, but I need to get some carriage bolts first, so I'm going to go to Home Depot and get them. All right, so we got some tire slime for the tires, some carriage bolts and some lock nuts for the whole go-kart and some solder for the kill switch and I also got a kill switch all right so I cut off the ends of the bolts and because they were sticking out really long. Alright, so I got a kill switch. I used my uh, solder that I got for $4 at Harbor Freight. I had to uh, switch the orientation of the switch because the ground completes the circuit to shut off the engine. So it's uh, opposite of what a normal switch would be. So you just flip the on and off so I did that and it works well it's just bolted through the steering wheel and uh, the ground goes down to the bolt that holds on the steering wheel I also got some uh, seat belts on. These also came with the go kart, so they um, don't retract like a normal car seat. They work like an airplane seat, and they take a few clicks to get in, but they do work, um, which is nice because uh, it makes my parents feel like I'm safer. Thanks for watching. This is John Wheels. Remember to like and subscribe and leave a comment below to tell me what you thought.